There's a lot of blood. I really hope I'm not too late. Drink. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Will you not stay silent for one bloody minute? I can't. I can't think. I can't sleep. I can't dream. I can't have you inside me. You're eating me up. Why are you not doing what I've asked you to do? You're supposed to give me power. You're supposed to serve me, not... not the other way around! Stop whispering! Magic must be destroyed for the worlds to become one. For Stark and Arcadia to reconnect. For me to return home. You must help me accomplish this. You must listen to me. You see, if magic leaks into Stark, it'll cause chaos. And mayhem. Millions will die. I... I don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. It must be done. So, Brian is the prophet. That's a twist I didn't see coming. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course I saw that coming. Brian's possessed by the undreaming. He brings it to Arcadia, and then it starts... talking to him? Controlling him? Sounded to me like he wanted to control it. But why? Uh, to destroy magic? There must be more to it than that. I'm just repeating what he said. Come on, there's much more. I've been here before. The Dark People's Library. Something happened here that... Okay, here we go. Who's there? Hello? Funny bird, is that you? Oh, I didn't see you. Are you looking for something? Wait, no. What are you? <coughs> he killed the white dragon. Yeah, and I was there. I saw Mr. Westhouse, and he saw me. He tried to kill me too, but I was struck with something from that pointy magic stick of his and I... I blacked out. Next thing I know, I was stowed away on a ship to Sadir. I must have crawled into a barrel or something. I didn't remember any of it until... until the Prophet grabbed me. I heard him. There was blood and... I don't know what happened next, but his blood... That's what's helping me pull you into these memories. The Prophet's blood! Is that weird? No weirder than anything else I've experienced this past week. Welcome to my life. Do you question the goddess, Utana? Of... of course not. I... Uh... Just want... 
I need to understand why all non-humans must be destroyed. Magic is an aberration. It has no place in this cosmos. It's chaos, and chaos interferes with logic, with the engine, with her plans. This I understand. Reunification cannot happen as long as Arcadia is ruled by magic. But the non-humans... If we are to fulfill the wishes of the goddess, we must purify the world. Only then can the mechanical engine serve her. Do you understand now? I... Uh... Yes. Master, my office will establish camps and ship non-humans to the islands. And I'll find someone to spearhead the program to uh, eradicate magicals. Good. I'll be leaving for the Northland soon to oversee the final construction of the tower and the engine. I trust Azadir is in good hands. Oh, the Masked Council answers to me only. The Six will continue to heed our advice. Sadir belongs to us, Master Prophet. And this new emissary? Sister Saya will join you. She's young, but clever and loyal. She'll serve you well in Mercuria. I trust your judgment. Send word when the camps are ready, Utana. Did you understand that? No, but that was Mother Utana. She took me in after I arrived in Sadir. I did some work for her. She helped me get back to Mercuria. Kian and her appeared to be very close until... until she stabbed him with a knife to the belly. She what? That... that just happened. Out there, before the Prophet wrung my neck and... Oh, Mother of Ravens, I remember now. I remember what happened. I, I think I died. Am I dead? You're here. That's all I know. So Mother... Mother Utana serves the Prophet, and the Prophet orchestrates the destruction of Magicals. Which means West House is responsible for... for actual genocide. God. I feel weird, Zoe. I don't like this feeling. I'm... I'm scared. I'm sorry, Crow. Place. It was... it was filled with numbers and calculations, an eternity of equations. I couldn't find my way out. It was terrifying. So much power. I owe you my life, sir. And now you will serve me. How? You'll help me build something. A mechanical engine. Like that calculator I was trapped inside? Something like it, but much greater. On a scale never before seen. In return, I'll grant you power. Power? What kind of power? The kind you once knew, Necromancer King. That was a long time ago. Another age. One in which magic meant something. I accept your proposition. So what's next? <laughs> what did you do? What did you put inside me? Something to keep safe. Something that must remain hidden. It whispers to me. Don't listen to it. 
The undreaming has ambitions. Best we don't let those ambitions loose on the world. Not yet. Tell no one of this. There are those who are willing to commit murder to get to what's inside you. My... my lips are sealed, Master. I swear! Only the scepter can shatter the shard of the soul stone you carry within. The soul stone? My soul stone? It was never yours, wizard. But yes, a piece of it. This scepter and the soul stone were forged from the same dream at the beginning of everything. Is that... Is that the silver spear of Gorimon? Where did you find it? It harbors great and ancient magics. A good eye? No. And not magic. This is an object older than magic. It can both control and destroy magic. It's capable of slicing through the fabric between worlds. It's so beautiful. I spent decades looking for it. I found it with one of the Dryak kin. It looks... alive? It's been fed the blood of dragons, charged with the oldest magic of them all. It's finally ready. And once my engine has been built, the Scepter's true powers will be revealed. You'll stay close to me, in Mercuria. I'll call on you when I need you. With the help of the Azadi Nation, you'll build my engine. They're eager for the power they believe it'll grant them. They'll serve me, their prophet. In exchange, you'll have everything you could ever want. You'll be there, next to me, reshaping worlds. I look forward to it, Master. I knew that wizard couldn't be trusted. I could have told you that. Wait, I did. He was there, Clax. When the Prophet broke my neck, he's working for the Prophet. So Clax has a shard of the Soul Stone inside him. That must be the same Soul Stone I brought to Lux. Why does the Prophet need to keep it safe? Something to do with the Undreaming? The Undreaming? It's inside that shard. It's not inside West House because, because then it'd be controlling him and he's the one controlling it. You were right, Crow. I was? I was! I think, I think this is what I was supposed to show you. Okay, so what's next? We keep walking, I guess. I mean, maybe there's more to see. You. I should have guessed you'd be here. Or... It's not actually you. This place is strange. You're probably just an... An echo. A ghost. What was that whole thing about find her, save her? I found you, but I didn't save you. I didn't save anyone. You did. How? I was trapped. You freed me. You died. And was reborn. Reborn? How? You're not telling. Or this echo is incomplete. I know this can't be you, not really, because you're dead and this is just... <sighs> so what do I do now? I'm supposed to save the dream, but I don't know how. What have you learned? I don't know. Westhouse brought the Undreaming to Arcadia. First, it was inside him, but then he put it into the Soul Stone Shard. He became the Prophet, and he manipulated the Azadi people, freed Clax, and... Clax! The Shard's inside Clax! Which means the Undreaming is inside Clax, and that spear can shatter it. The one that killed the White Dragon? The Silver Spear of... of... Gorimon? That's what you were supposed to show me, Crow. The key to destroying the Shard and unleashing the Undreaming. 
The undreaming isn't the real danger here. I mean, yes, it is dangerous, but only because Westhouse is using it, controlling it. We need to unleash the undreaming. That sounds a teensy weensy bit risky. I know, but this is what has to happen. I don't know why I know. Maybe because Lux knows, and Lux is part of me now. We find the spear, and murder Clax, and unleash the undreaming, all by ourselves? We can't. We need help. We need... Kian. Kian. If I can get word to Kian, then there's still hope. But I need to get out of here. Uh, how do I get out of here? Good luck, Zoe. Hey, funny bird. April? Are you ready to go now? I... yeah. Yeah, I am. I've missed you, April. I've missed you too. Come on, Crow. We have a long journey ahead of us. I'm back. I'm back. Well, my mind's back. I know what I need to do, but I'm still in the fucking pod. I need to get out of the pod right now. Okay, so I don't think Helena knows I'm awake. Better keep it that way, or she'll just drug me again. That panel operates the pod, and oh, it's right there. Only a thin sheet of plastic away. A thin sheet of a very, very strong plastic. Dad! Is he okay? He looks unharmed. Oh, thank God. Mother, dearest. I can't believe that bitch is my biological mum. No, if Helena hears me, she'll drug me again. And then, that's the end of it. Of everything. Dreams. Entangled dreams existing in multiple worlds. Pure energy capable of changing the universe. What's... looks like... Reality is wavering, breaking apart. The walls between dream and reality are starting to get thin near that vortex. It's Aingana's doing, and... and mine. Wait, does that mean I can... Yes! I'm on the border between waking and dream. Story time's right here, a thought away, which means... I can shape dreams. I can change reality. Locked. With a code, of course. Come on, Helena. It must be in there somewhere, the code. You must have been thinking about it just there. Got it. 7914. 
he's woozy, but the only thing on his mind is me. He's really worried. Hang in there, Dad. I'll get you out of this, I promise. Okay, so let's try this. Seven, nine, one, four. What? This isn't right. You shouldn't be able to... Hold on, Zoe? Just wait. Let's... Let's talk this through. If you don't reconnect with Aingana, the wave field will collapse before it's reached the correct amplitude. Don't you understand? This reality is perfectly entangled with the proto-reality. Stop. <gasps> your, your powers are manifesting an observed reality, independent of the quantum field generated by Angana. That's interesting. That means the world is changing. You're in control. It's working, Zoe. It's working. It's beginning to... Enough, Eleanor. Oh, put that thing down, Gabrielle. We both know you won't use it. Our contract is void. Watty security is right outside that door, and you've set your insane project in motion. What's stopping me from killing you right now? Her. You won't kill your little girl's mother in front of... What's that? What's happening? I don't know. This never occurred in any of my models. The cut. It's closing up. It's temporary. You'll need to have it looked at by a proper medic before the night's over. Or you'll bleed to death. Is this magic? Who cares? It's saving your life. Delaying death. Utana. She did this. Who are you? Long story. How are you feeling? Better. Good, I... Great. We're running a bit short on time, so you'll have to excuse me. Very impressive. What school of sorcery is this? Not magic. And shut up. I'm trying to focus. Nice outfit. Uh, thanks. You've opened a portal between Stark and Arcadia. It's called a shift. You're a shifter? Not really. I usually walk paths that are already open. To be honest, I'm not very good at this. I need to stay right here to keep this shift open, so we'll have to skip the handshakes and move on to the main event. Kian, Zoe, Zoe, Kian. I know you guys are supposed to speak. That's why we're all here. So speak. And, uh, make it quick? We've met before in... We have. We keep missing each other and... We do. You don't... I'm just... What? You first. Zoe. I know who the Prophet is, and I know how to stop the undreaming. Or at least, I think I do. It might not work, but it's all we have, and... Roper Clax. He's the key. He has a shard of the Soul Stone inside him, but we need the Silver Spear of Goromon to destroy it, and that's... Zoe. Slow down. The undreaming. A destructive force, capable of... of unmaking the universe. The Prophet's using it to destroy magic and reunite the worlds. And this magical spear? The Silver Spear of Goromon. The Prophet used it to kill the Draic Kin, charging it with dragon's blood. He needs it to destroy magic and alter the dream. The spear is the only thing that can shatter the shard inside Clax. Of course. And where do we find the spear? The Prophet carries it with him. I don't think he lets it out of his sight. So, find the Prophet, find the spear. And probably Clax. Clax was here. I punched him, but he got away. Someone survived being punched by you. I held back. He called himself an engineer. The Prophet's been using Clax, like he's been using your people. But why does he want to kill Magicals? Maybe, in his own twisted head, Brian believes he's doing the universe a favor. Could you guys get a move on? I'm not sure how long I can keep this doorway open. 
We need to stop the Prophet, Kian. And we stop him by destroying the shard of the Soul Stone Roper Clax carries inside him. You're certain this will stop the... the undreaming? I think so. It... it feels right. Besides, what have we got to lose? Nothing. Everything. But if we can stop the Prophet by taking his spear and killing a wizard... This is something I can do. I'm coming with you. No. No, you can't. We're not done here. I'll see the two of you afterwards. No, you won't. What? Nothing. I'm Saga. I'm Zoe. But you know that. Listen, this may look easy, but it's not. Weight of worlds on my shoulders, the pull of alien gravities, knees buckling, etc. So you need to not distract me. Uh, okay. Sorry. What should I... We wait. I opened the shift, you spoke to Keon. That's why I was sent here. What comes next? It's not up to me. How do you know all this? Because that's how the story goes. And it's been written, and we can't change that. Now shush. Okay, okay. The energies appear to be agitated. They're moving faster.